Okay guys, uh, today we are going to learn how to write a problem solution essay which is one of the important essay types in IELTS. Uh, there are two types of problem solution essays. One is cause and solution and second is problem and solution. Cause and solution means you will have to tell the reasons of something and then you will come up to solution. And uh, problem and solution is what is the problem, actual problem, and how to solve that problem. Okay, I'm going to send you a detailed uh, lecture on this in our class WhatsApp group. I mean, you should go through that. But for now, I would like to go through two essays. One is problem solution and one is cause and solution so that you understand everything entirely. Okay, now remember... Uh, there are two ways of writing this essay. One way is first you write introduction. I'll explain all these things. Then you write one paragraph that contains all the problems or all the causes. Then you write another paragraph which contains all the solutions of the problem. But I don't like this approach. The best one is cause one plus solution one or problem one plus solution one. We call it one plus one. Next paragraph cause 2 plus solution 2 or problem 2 plus solution 2 and the third paragraph at least you need to write three causes and three solutions so cause 3 plus solution 3 so it's a good idea for you all to write three now please come to uh, okay for this you have to go through unit number four and unit number uh, sorry unit number two and unit number four uh, unit number five sorry yeah Unit number two and unit number five. Please note it down. When you go back home today, you have to read unit number two from this book and unit number five. Note down the page numbers. Unit number two is on page number 19 and unit number five is on page number 55. If you read these two units, they will equip you with all four criteria. Number one, task response. Number two, grammatical range and accuracy number three vocabulary number four coherence and cohesion so these two units will teach you all four things okay now please come to page number 24 page number 24 model essay problem and solution okay and you will tell me is it cause and solution or problem and solution and when you read the topic, don't read all the topics senselessly in an ignorant way. And then you come back and say, Achha, kenda ki ye? Now, read it first time carefully. And it's a good idea for you guys to translate this topic into your native language. Punjabi, Urdu, whatever, right? So, the topic is like you should spend about 40 minutes on this task. Write about the following topic. What is the topic? These days. These days means present, currently, nowadays. In many countries, many countries means globally. Many countries means throughout the world. Fewer and fewer people want to become teachers. All over the world, at present, a small number of people only want to become teachers. Because they don't have a teacher. Ki. Huh? <laughs> Anything. So this is the problem. Now you understand? All over the world, small number means actually the topic is people don't want to become teachers all over the world. That's the problem. If they will not become teachers, then how will we teach our generations, right? Then they say particularly in secondary schools. So people don't want to become teachers in secondary school, okay? Then, what are the reasons for this? Now, reasons that people do not want to become teachers. Reason number one, salary. Okay, reason number two, teaching is student behavior. Exactly, yes, they misbehave with their teachers. So, student behavior. And then, uh, teaching is a hectic job. Society impact. Exactly. Once my younger brother, he was going to be engaged somewhere. And he started teaching during that time. And the girl said, Hum to teachers ko to unka to mazaak udate hai. Main kaise bataungi mera fiance teacher hai. 
राइट और ये वही खातून थी जिनको आटा बड़ा सॉफ्ट लगता था हाय अल्लाह कितना प्यारा आटा है इससे इससे रोटी बनती है कितना सॉफ्ट है अच्छा जी तो एनीवेज एक और एस्पेक्ट बता रहा हूँ ओके कि टीचर्स की तभी शादी नहीं होती है ना टीचर्स का मजाक उड़ाते हैं ऑल दैट मैंने पहले शादी की फिर टीचर बना ये एग्जैक्टली मैं सियाना बन रहा हूँ सो एनी वेज पर्टिकुलरली इन सेकेंडरी स्कूल एंड वट आर द रीजन रीजन नंबर वन सैलरी रीजन नंबर टू स्टूडेंट बिहेवियर रीजन नंबर थ्री टीचिंग इज अक्टिक जॉब ओके लेट वर्किंग किड़े टीचर की गल कर रहे हैं तू हाँ वट आर द रीजन फॉर दिस एंड हाउ कुड द प्रॉब्लम बी सॉल्व नाउ सोल्यूशन सैलरी का सोल्यूशन क्या है तनख्वाह बढ़ा दें गवर्नमेंट और स्कूल एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन शोर इंक्रीज अ सैलरी अनफॉर्चुनेटली आई नो अ स्कूल नेक्स्ट टू माई हाउस दे आर द पी ऑन एंड द टीचर दे हैव द सेम सैलरी पी ऑन टेक्स टेन थाउजेंड रुपीज एंड द टीचर ऑल्सो टेक्स टेन थाउजेंड एंड दैट इज फॉर ग्रेजुएट्स इफ सम इज मास्टर्स दैन फिफ्टीन ट्वेल्व और फिफ्टीन और वो भी एहसान करके और फिर तीन बजे तक स्कूल में रोक के एंड ऑल दैट एनी वेज ये सो Okay, let's go on. So, first solution is increase the salary. Student behavior. What is the solution? There should be strict rules and regulations. कि अगर किसी बच्चे ने misbehave किया है, school से निकाल दिया जाए. Right? They they should call their parents and all that. Third, teaching is a hectic job. For that, there should be some teaching assistants. For every male teacher, there should be a female assistant. For female teacher, there should be a male assistant, so that they can divide their job. आप हंस रहे हैं हाँ, and they can do it easily. I used to work in a college. वहाँ पे दो teachers की आपस में मंगनी हो गई. In the beginning of the semester, or semester के end पे मंगनी टूट गई. Okay, and you know, in the staff room, they used to have their meetings. मैं staff room में बैठा होता था, मुझे कहते सर अब थोड़ी देर के लिए बाहर चले जाएं. जो रात की telephone पे लड़ाइयाँ करके आते थे ना सुला यहाँ पे करते. मैं एक दिन बाहर खड़ा हुआ. हमारे जो principal थे वो आए कहते सर आप बाहर क्यों खड़े हुए? मैंने कहा सर वो अंदर न्याय जोड़ा बैठा हुआ है उनके कोई मामला चल रहे हैं. So anyways, फिर ओके okay, अपनी कहानियां सुना रहा हूं जो मैंने अपने इर्द गिर्द देखा ठीक है ये मैं उस वक्त भी मैरिड होता था एग्जैक्टली ये सो दिस इज द थिंग नाउ वी स्टार्ट और अब मैं आपको बताऊंगा हाउ विल यू राइट द फर्स्ट पैराग्राफ और आपने ये नोटिस करना है फर्स्ट पैराग्राफ का हर सेंटेंस कैसा होगा नाउ वी मूव ऑन देर आर टू टाइप ऑफ वोकेबलरीज वन इज ऐसे रिलेटेड वोकेबलरी फॉर प्रॉब्लम सोल्यूशन ऐसे इन एवरी प्रॉब्लम सोल्यूशन ऐसे देर इज अटन ग्रुप ऑफ वर्ड विच यू आर गोइंग टू यूज सो यू विल यूज दैम एवरी टाइम देन देर इज अ टॉपिक रिलेटेड वोकेबलरी नाउ द टॉपिक इज टीचर्स सैलरी सो देर इज दैट वोकेबलरी सो वीव गॉट टू वोकेबलरीज ट्वेंटी टू थर्टी परसेंट इट्स द टाइप रिलेटेड वोकेबलरी and 70 to 80% is the topic related vocabulary i can't see the screen hurry up please so let's start sentence number 1 is always a general sentence about the topic so the sentence is a generation ago teaching in a high school was considered an extremely well respected and popular job and in some countries this is still true and when you write a general sentence you can write it about the past about present about anything but it should be related to teaching and teachers a generation ago teaching was very respectable job as it is in some countries okay next second sentence second sentence is what we call uh you're going to paraphrase the topic sentence number 1 general sentence number 2 problem ko paraphrase kar de paraphrase the problem पैराफ्रेस का क्या मतलब है अपने वर्ड्स में प्रॉब्लम को लिखते हैं सो सेकंड सेंटेंस हाउ एवर इन मेनी पार्ट्स ऑफ द वर्ड फॉर मेनी कंट्रीज दे हैव यूज्ड द वर्ड मेनी पार्ट्स ऑफ द वर्ड दिस इज व्हाट वी कॉल गुड वोकेबुलरी सिनोनिम्स पैराफ्रेजिंग रीवर्डिंग हाउ एवर इन मेनी पार्ट्स ऑफ द वर्ड देयर हैज बीन अ शार्प ड्रॉप इन द नंबर ऑफ यंग पीपल हु वांट टू बिकम हाई स्कूल टीचर्स शार्प ड्रॉप शार्प ड्रॉप मींस व्हाट exactly fewer and fewer people want to become teachers means there is the drop in that sharp drop means it has come down dramatically okay uh, to become high school teachers third sentence it is called thesis sentence or we call it plan in this third sentence thank you you are going to tell your plan what your plan in the essay is so what's the plan 
and plain sentence will tell the examiner the type of essay. Now just read this plan and tell me the type. This essay will look at the reasons for this and propose some solutions. It's a problem solution essay. If you write over there, in my opinion, this is wrong, that is opinion essay. In this essay, I will discuss both views and finally give my opinion, that is discussion essay. If you write in this essay, I will talk about some benefits of teaching and some drawbacks, that is so this sentence is very, very important. It's the heart of your introduction. Okay. All right. How many sentences are there in introduction? Only three sentences. Number one, general. And you should know that. Number one, general sentence. Number two, paraphrasing the topic. Number three, thesis or plan. Very good. Now, one plus one. Only one problem and one solution, no, not more than that. So one of the main causes of the problem is that you can copy this. It's there in the template. One of the main causes of the problem is that teachers' salaries are lower than many other jobs. So cause number one, salary. Okay, Teachers' sal salary is lower than many other jobs. Teachers pay. What is the word for salary now? Pay, salary, pay, rewards, remuneration, income, monetary benefits. This is where you can get seven or above. You will not get seven or above if you use high five vocabulary. Examiner bhi ghoom jai. Kahan se dhoond ke lai. Huh? It's not that. Teacher's pay has not kept pace with that of other professions. Kept pace means it's not as much as other professions such as law or medicine. Now they are giving example. So sentence number one is the topic sentence. Topic sentence means the problem you mentioned there. Sentence number two is going to elaborate that topic sentence. Sentence number three can be example. So example is in the UK, for example, a doctor with five years experience will earn far more than teacher with the same experience. And by the way, this phenomena is true in any part of the world, even in Pakistan, UK. But I advise you to give global examples. Never give personal examples. Your personal examples will turn your essay into a personal story. You don't want to write a personal story. My younger brother, for example, he is a teacher. He liked someone in school and then this happened and all that stuff. Never give any personal example. My brother, my uncle, my this, my that. Always give a general example in third person. Okay. Now this example here, if you just take a look again. They say in UK, for example, doctor with five years experience. Right. Now, if you say my cousin who is a doctor, he has got five years experience and he is earning more than my other cousin who is a teacher. Not like that. Third person singular and give a generalized example, not the personalized one. Clear? Otherwise, your essay will become a story, a personal story. OK, uh, next. The solution is, now you can copy this one here. The solution is, by the way, you should, there are three body paragraphs and you should know three ways to talk about solution. Okay, now let's move on. Uh, one paragraph is done. We, we're coming to the uh, solution. The solution is for the government to raise teachers pay significantly. Now, instead of pay, you can write teachers remuneration. Teachers rewards, right? Teachers financial benefits significantly, which would attract more people into the profession. All clear? One problem, explanation of the problem, example of the problem, solution to the problem. And in the next paragraph, we will come up with new thing. Don't stuff your paragraphs within one paragraph, 10 problems. One well-developed idea is better than 100 ideas. Well developed means idea, explanation, example, conclusion. Four sentences in each paragraph. Now next paragraph. Another problem is that, now you can copy this also. This is there in the template. Another problem is that, examiner will be happy that this is the second problem. And this is topic uh, type related vocabulary, problem solution. Another problem is that many children do not behave well in class. So it is students behavior many students do not behave well in class that is to say that is to say means what i mean by this means what i want to say what i mean by this that is to say 
teachers often have to deal with pupils. Now the word for students is pupils who disobey them. So behavior is gone into disobedience who disobey them which often causes them to give up teaching. Give up teaching means to leave teaching, to quit teaching and all that. This tends to put off. Now instead of it in IELTS essay writing, you should use this. This means what you said before. This means the whole phenomena when the students disobey their teachers and they become disappointed. So this means the whole thing. This tends to put off. Put off means stop or halt. This tends to put off potential teachers as well. To tackle this issue, come to second paragraph of your essay. There we wrote the solution is. And now we are saying to tackle this issue. This is what examiner wants. Examiner doesn't want to see everywhere to uh, the solution is, the solution is, the solution is, the solution is. And then you say Samad Bond is the solution. Okay. <laughs> so be careful. To tackle this issue. And then there is a comma. Whenever you learn phrases, the phrases which come with comma, learn it with the comma. And you must now, you learn to tackle the issue and then there should be comma. Write it as it is. Parents must give their children a sense of respect for teachers in order to make children behave better in class. So solution is with the parents. First solution was with the government. Now, third one. A third cause of the problem is that teachers often have too much work to do. So the third cause is work overload. Teachers have too much work to do. Okay. Teachers have too much work to do. Now, now you're explaining. What do you mean by that? First, you explain the. First, you give your main point. Then you elaborate the main point. What is the main point? Third cause of the problem is that teachers often have too much work to do. Now you will describe too much work. What is that too much work? So, uh, most teachers are snowed under. Snow under is an idiom. Snow under means when you are under the pressure of something. Most teachers are snowed under with marking and paperwork which means that they have to stay late at school and work at home in the evening you might see outside the school at home time a teacher is going with the copies pile of copies and they are taking the copies home okay then they say as a result as a result is another connecting phrase this is to achieve coherence and cohesion every sentence should have a phrase like this within the paragraph every sentence as a result consequently in response to this as a result many teachers are tired and stressed and their job has a negative effect on their family life but his family life to te har wali copies check kar di rehni to te har wali test check kar di something like that okay family life the way forward could be third phrase number one the solution is number two to tackle this issue number three the way forward could be to cut teachers hours and to take on more teaching assistance which would make teaching an easier jobs cut hours mean reduce their teaching hours like you know some teachers they have two periods free one period free three periods free so cut down their hours working hours okay three causes three solutions now we come to conclusion to sum up after that once again you are going to paraphrase the problem to sum up, teaching has become a much less popular job in many countries. What is that problem? And after that, you will give the reasons of the problem. You are writing conclusion. First sentence, paraphrase the problem. Give reason. I mean, in three, three paragraphs, you wrote three causes. So give summary of that. Uh, in many countries, due to reasons such as salary, go to second paragraph, you can see it there. Working hours, come to next paragraph, you will see it there, and pupils behave. So these three things we discussed in three body paragraphs, so you will write them. This is a serious problem, and unless 